meep, 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 meep. Job. Yeah. That is your job, Heather. Yeah, we're turning up. Heather's down. supposed to turn us up. Sorry, guys. Turn, turn it up, up, Heather. Turn it up. Hey, everybody. I'm always turned up. It's Wednesday. You're what? Oh, I'm always turned up. Turned up with a T? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Heather, you're mm. turned up. Is it because of that cool? What is that bar you got there? What are you, tell them what you're eating. Oh, it's a Count Chocula bar. Holy shit. A Count Chocula bar. It wasn't enough that she had the cereal. Now you have to have it in bar form. Mm -hmm. Well, the title might tell you why you're here or what our Wednesday talk is going to be about. Our talk sesh. What is the title? What? What, do, what is the title? Really? Where's it at, Chris? So it's about the Cyber Bundle, the uh, Monday Cyber Monday Bundle. Hmm. So uh, we actually have a comment uh, from Jarhead Collector. I can't wait to see Heather smack somebody for buying that bundle. So interesting enough, Heather actually wanted the bundle at first. Uh, hold on, at first, Heather wanted the bundle. She actually said it right here, and I wish I had the little clip of Heather saying she wanted the bundle. No, I did. But I say do that. not have the clip of Heather. You did. I did say that. You're actually fessing up to it? Yes. Oh but my now God. that I've seen it. Of course now that you, we didn't see it before. Mm -hmm. We bought it before we saw it. Mm -hmm. Th that's the type of thing you don't do. Like buying a car. Mm -hmm. You should probably see it before you buy it. Mm -hmm. A home. You should see it before you buy it. Mm -hmm. Hot toy. Right? I don't know, Chris. Is there anything that you buy that you hadn't seen before you bought it? You would probably buy a hot toy that didn't, that you didn't see. Okay. Uh, that happens every day because people post pictures that are just the mock-up, you know, from Sideshow. And then you, you're buying that. You don't actually see the physical item. Is that what you're talking about? No. Okay. Like, if you didn't even see that. Good. If so something, If something said Thanos, you'd be like, oh, I'm getting that. Of course. It's Thanos. Um, so, the bundle is 12 items. 12? 12 items. 12 items. There is not a two or three pack, as you as, as you suggested. I thought there was. You thought there would be. But, but Mike there wasn't. was still putting... There sort of is. The Warriors or whatever. They're not a two pack box no i did not mean that i meant like two items that went together oh two items that okay. Well, okay yeah because as of sunday they only had 10 hints and i was thinking okay their baseball was their hint for the two right there wasn't 12 hits there was 11 so as of sunday there were only 10 and in the middle of our lives mike becker tweeted with the 11th not mike becker who was it Marriott. oh brian Marriott. never mind sorry Oh my god. We haven't been doing this for years. Or, or collecting these toys for years, by the way. They both have a hand in it. Simmer down. Um, did you see his decorations in front of his home? But I don't want to cut you off. But no. did you, Mike Becker? Mm -mm. He has full-size Funko Pops outside of his home. It looks awesome. I wish I had the picture. I don't. Go I ahead. would too. Go ahead. Finish your, your story. But my theory was that there were multiple because he had only... I thought 10 was... The last of the hints. Oh, I, you meant you, you thought that it ended at 10. Yes. Okay. I knew there were 12 items, but I thought that the hints that it ended at 10, but it turns out they ended at 11. So technically, one of those hints was for two of those pops. Well, spoiler alert. There they all are. Spoiler alert. You can't alert. say spoiler alert as you're posting it. You have to say it before. Well, sorry. I did it. I did it. Now what? I hope someone Watch knocks me start on our door. <laughs> That's what Somebody's going to start beating the door down. Um, so there's everything. Uh, am I happy with my purchase? It is a question I see a lot of people asking. Am I personally happy with this purchase? Well, if you buy any bundle from Funko blindly, like I did last year and this year, there's a chance that there's going to be something in there that you don't want. There's and in a our case, and also a both of those had things that we did not want. Things that we didn't want. However, there were things in the box that we did want. But Understand? we went into it completely blindly. We did go into it com completely, completely blindly, but there were things that we wanted. There were some things that we did not want. Now, in this box, Scooby-Doo, 
that Pillsbury Doughboy, which had not, that has not been um, released overseas. So right. I don't know what the story is with that. But Scooby-Doo, Doughboy, Drax, and Jingles are the only ones that we want. And the and rest right. of them, some people win because they didn't have to order the box for $200. Instead, they're taking them from our box and we're selling them at cost. So it all worked out. And we have literally already promised every single item. Everything's that we're not gone. Keeping in fact, to people. In fact, I had some things today that somebody wanted, and I had already promised that I would hook them up with something from the box. And I f completely forgot because the morning that the picture released. People were all messaging me and talking to me in, in, in uh, Gasocast We Hunt Together group. So people wanted the stuff. So it's safe to say that if you look at this bundle, there is more or less at least one item in this bundle that you want or that you would like to have. Maybe not a need, but something that you would like. For me, the Drax and the Scooby-Doo are two that really pop out for me and Jingles. And they pulled Jingles out of the box today on Funko, the Funko Live. Mm -hmm. And Jingles has a hook on him. He oh, can be hung awesome. from the fucking tree. I mean, that's crazy. I, that's awesome. I am, that I am awesome. super excited about that one. And he has really cool teeth. They look very much like Heather's. I can't wait to have Jingles. He looks oh, great. Thank you. Can you do that the underbite with your teeth? Yeah, there it is. See, I told him. Look, look at him. Show, show him. Show me what you showed me. There it is. See? Jingles. Ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Heather. You won an award. Oh, speaking of teeth, can I tell you bad news? Yeah? I gotta get my wisdom teeth taken out. Oh, son of a bitch. Wait, Heather, we're here. Can we get to that? I'm let... We're getting to it now. I'm telling my friends that at some About point in the future... I might have to come on here looking like a freaking chipmunk. <laughs> so I forgot excited. about that. I forgot about that. You know, with something like this, you might actually have Can to be you, in a video seriously? with it. Seriously? What? I like, I like, I like, no, I handle things. No. Here, I'll handle something else. I'm, How about this? Yes. That's fine. There we go. Can I handle that? Yes. Okay. He has this pin that's, that's covered in like oh. a very loud wrapping and it's, I can't focus on anything. Um, but all four of them are underneath my gums. Brian Bear, hello. So, it's a surgical effing procedure. I'm being cut into. Not just things pulled out. I am I have to physically be cut. Need I remind you, you don't have to say effing anymore. We've changed our ways. I But I don't like... Like, what if my grandma's watching? I think Listen, the worst word she's ever heard me say is ass. Oh my god. Yeah. You said ass in front of your grandmom? I think so. <laughs> Heather! You she animal! Said it in front of me, she said asshole before. Oh my god, your grandmother! While Filthy mouth a, on her. While telling a joke. Okay, I'll allow it. So the bundle, I, let's go over the bundle. The, the one, the first item that went the quickest. The person asked about this on We Hunt Together, the group. They asked for Ash from Overwatch. That was the first thing to go, literally. Yeah. And I, I'm, I was happy because I do not need. Overwatch Funko Pops. I, do, I have never played Overwatch. I did not want the Overwatch Funko Pop. It looks cool. I love the, the cowboy hat. But no need. I, I didn't want that one personally. Yeah, it's neat. I had blue hair a little while over the summer. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, I had like light blue hair. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. When? Like for a week and a half. You had blue... No, get out of here. You didn't have blue hair. Yes, did I did. I'm, not, I'm being serious. You had blue hair? Yes. I swear to God, I don't remember you having blue hair. You're crazy. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, I had blue hair. What? Yes. It was like a light blue. What the fuck? I don't remember that. Um, Then there are the two warrior characters, the baseball guys. Again... Everyone wants those. Everybody wants Everybody. them because they released another warrior guy. I think over New York Comic Con, was it? Or one of the... I don't some know. con. I can't remember. But I remember um, seeing that one originally when it, the original one released. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Never watched Warriors. My father always talked about how great it was. It's apparently like a classic 80s flick. I think it was 80s. Uh, but he talked about it all the time. I've never watched it. Maybe I should go and watch it, and then I'll want the pops. But, eh, I already have somebody who wants them. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy is something special, because that was something Heather's, uh, one of her family members, loved Pillsbury. Mom. Your mom. I didn't know if you wanted to 
go out and say that. Oh, I don't but care. But your mom loved Pillberry's, Pillberry Doughboy? <laughs> Pillsbury. Pillsbury Doughboy. What are you saying? I don't know. I'm having a stroke. Pillsbury Doughboy. So Heather's mom actually had a bunch of, like, Pillsbury Doughboy kitchen trinkets. So I've been yes. collecting all the Funko Pops for her. So this is kind of a surprise, a, like a beautiful surprise. Thank you, King Elmo. It was N- uh, NYCC. The Doughboy was a beautiful surprise for us because that's something Heather actually really wanted. I, I would say that out of this entire contents of this box, that's the one she would want the most. Am I right about that? Right. Um, then we have the Icy Polar Bear. Somebody has already taken that already. I am not collecting ad icons, which is why I didn't get so upset about Toucan Sam. People are still pissed about Toucan Sam. People are getting worked up. And I have noticed that people are selling theirs already. They're flipping them. I can't find any pictures. I know, because it didn't happen. You did not have fucking blue hair. Yes, I did. No, you did not. There's a tail end of it. That's not blue. It's gray. It's blue. That's bullshit. Show that picture. You tell that. You show that to them. It and, was and tell blue. Them it's blue. I'm telling you, it was blue. No. See, you can't even see. It was blue. It's not blue. It's straight up sky blue. It's not blue. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my time oh with that. Oh my them. god. Um, Drax is it's obvious. Blue. Uh, down uh, uh, up my alley. I want Drax. Drax is number one on my list because I'm a Marvel collector. And then we have Rick, hologram Rick, and Heather and I decided we'd keep that one because he's yeah. glows in the dark, and we just thought that was kind of cool. Glow in the dark. Um, Scooby-Doo is amazing. Are you going to speak on any of these? We're on here. You, we don't care about your blue hair anymore. Your, your lies. Let's it's talk about that. Let's talk about the I was box. trying to prove to you I'm right, but You're I wrong. can't because I don't have it. Kate L cannot sleep at night because of the toucan. That son of a bee. That son of a bee toucan. You don't need to say They should have made more. They should have made more. They should have. It's a cool piece. Um, Scooby-Doo I really wanted. I would say he's equal to Drax because we started collecting Scooby-Doo and I really like that one. I think he's cool because he has a Santa hat on. Is that, does he have Scooby snacks in his, in his hands? What is that? That's what it looks like. It looks like a present. Is it a present? It might be a present. I don't know. Tinkerbell, couldn't care less about that. She's cool. I like her Huckleberry Hound, couldn't care less about that. Jingles, he has that little hook and you can hang him on the tree. You had me at hook. You hooked me at hook. And then... There's Frankenberry, the big Frankenberry. Mm-hmm. Don't care about that one either. Did you find someone to take that stupid thing? Yeah, I believe so. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, what if they're watching and now you turn them off? Now we're stuck with the Frankenberry. No, they can... Ha- hey, what someone else likes, I don't have to like. I figure Frankenberry would be down your, your uh, alley because mm-hmm. you love the Count Chocula. Yeah, I don't love Frankenberry. But I thought you liked the characters. Like you thought they were all cool. I mean, they're okay, but I don't need a he, big one. He is cool. Like his fingernails are kind of painted and stuff. They unboxed him on the Funko video today. Mm-hmm. He looked great out of box. Really? I got to say. Yeah, he oh, looked I really good. Oh, I bet he does. Yeah, he looked really good. I I sort of, I, I kind of second guessed myself on that one. I almost decided to keep it. So all in all, we've gotten rid of all of them except for Doughboy, Drax, Scooby-Doo, and Jingles, and Rick. Rick. I, I don't even care about Rick. That, that's one that Heather wants to keep. I do. I could, couldn't care less about him either. I love the show. And the new season's great. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to collect the Funko Pops. Well, you don't want to collect them because you have so many that you would have to pick up anyhow. It's another rabbit hole. Yeah, but if you just collected certain things that you're interested in, you don't have to collect a whole line. So were, what, what were your thoughts on this, Heather, this box? When you first saw the contents without Pillsbury Doughboy... What were your feelings? A lot of people were saying trash. I mean, I think it has something for everyone. I don't think that there is one person that would be like, I don't want one item from that box. I mean, maybe there are a couple people, but I think someone would want at least one of those items. Um, I happen to like a couple of them. I think it's funny because a lot of people were like, oh, it's trash, garbage. That, that box is bullshit. But everybody's out there messaging the people who bought the boxes looking for the pops. Mm-hmm. That's the real funny part about it. Well, that's the thing, though, because they, they force you to spend $200 on a box to get one of those Funko Pops. Okay, so here's my question to you. Do you think, mm-hmm. because they did, did they sell out of this box? 
I don't know. If they didn't sell out of this box, do you think that they will start selling these pops separately? Because I think they did last year. They started selling them separately because they could not sell out of the box. Maybe. It's it's know. it's still up, I'm sure. It couldn't have sold out. I th I think it probably is. Cause two hundred dollars. That who's? Yeah, you can still add it to your car. You can still add it, right? Yeah. Yeah. I figured it was still on sale. What they'll do is part this thing out. Here's what I want to know. This part I don't understand at all. Why is Pillsbury Doughboy only in the states? Because it was not in the pop culture box. The picture That's of the box. Weird. Why? Why is that? Yeah, there are, there can't be rights to it. I don't think it not, doesn't because they've sold Pillsbury Doughboy outside of the country before, I believe. I mean, I don't think it matters where you're selling it in the world. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm what I'm saying is I don't understand why that is. I don't either. I was trying to think. I my what thought, else? Hold on. There's only ten items in the box. What is the second item that's not in the box overseas? What is it? The Frankenberry. That one? Yeah. No. There. I think there. There's they eleven. Said, they said that there were only ten. Really? Yes. I think Frankenberry's involved in that. But the Pillsbury Doughboy. I. Th so what I thought it would be is that it was going to be a limited pop. B before I saw the Pillsbury Doughboy, I thought it would be limited to some, or they would make multiples, like three different pops, and you could have a random chance at getting one of the three. See, and they were limited. Funko Shop Bundle has 12 items. Pop Culture only has 10. Okay, so what's in the Pop, pop Culture? So I have this picture. They all have overseas stickers aside from the Frankenberry. The Frankenberry is just like a shot Count of... them. How many are there? It's Six? 11. Yeah, there's 11. But you don't see the box of this one. I think they're just showing it so that you can see. Okay, so Pop Culture Bundle only has 10. Yeah, so my guess is that it's Frankenberry because he's Frank not and in Barry, a box. Frankenberry and Pillsbury Doughboy. That's so weird. That is very weird. Huh. If they would put it, an, uh, if they would put a new ad icon in the bundle, it would have sold out. I don't know. I mean, that's that's. Listen, if they put a new ad icon in the bundle, like that dumb fucking pie, the mag mag magician pie, nobody was going to buy that, and it was going to sell out, right? Do you remember when you bought that? I did. Uh, that was a time where I was a big idiot. Chris, that happened. Very also. similar to the time I bought the bundle. Do you remember the time you bought the Mufasa that looks like wax? <laughs> the soap? Yeah. The so by, by the way, a lot of people uh, agreed with that. That he does look like a piece of soap. Okay. It's true. No, I'm saying it's true. Well, it's it's stupid. I know it's stupid, but give me a break. Um. Hey, what's happening, Brian Spears? Good to see you here. Um. I don't think if they would have shown everything inside this box beforehand, because they they've never done that right in the past. They didn't show you everything that was in it. It was blind before, right? They showed you hints. Mm, I think so. Right? Because I remember buying the box last year and being unaware of what was going to be in it, or something like that. And then we found out days later, just like this. I, but I do want to point out that Drax is in here. That blew my my damn mind. I did not think Drax was going to be in here. I didn't think they would have a Marvel. I think Drax is in there because he is Christmas colors. Well, yeah. But he's a comic version. It's not a Christmas Drax, I don't think. It's just a red and green Drax. That's his comic book colors, so it's very Christmas-like. And they made a last-minute decision to use him. What do you think? Are you with me in this? Are you with me? Yeah. Fuck, you're just sitting here reading comments. Okay, what are they saying? I'm not reading comments. What are you looking at then? I was looking you're at, standing the, at the wall. I'm listening to what you're saying. Okay, I, what, what, not... are, what are people saying? Um, I love Fruit fruit Pie the Magician. Leave him alone. <laughs> Who said that? Thomas. Jimmy says, don't feel bad, Chris. I bought that stupid magic fruit pie too. Um, Didn't we all? At one point in time, we were grabbing every ad icon that released. Jetta said they should have made the Morton Salt Umbrella Girl. That would that, have been a cool one. That would have been a very although, cool one. Although... Who does not stock Morton Salt? Although, if it's not a limited piece, people aren't going to go out of their way to buy this big $200 bundle for it. That's Hell the no. point. That's the point I'm making. Now, like I said, here's what they could have done. They could have come out at the beginning and said, 
you're going to have a chance to get one of three pops that'll be limited to a thousand, right? However many boxes they made. Mm -hmm. But they limited certain things. Do you get, you follow what I'm saying? Let's say they have 3,000 boxes and they have three different characters and there's a thousand piece of each one. And then you have a chance of getting one of them. That box would have sold right off the goddamn shelves. Or a thousand piece of one and then like 5,000 of another and 10,000 of another. Or yes. Or yeah, exactly. You know what? Brilliant. You're right. Brilliant. So you would have had a chance to get something hot, like sort of pseudo high end. And the salt girl, Saltina or whatever her name is, that could have been like a thousand piece. And that could have made this thing like really cool. But to put a bunch of pops that we can all get very easily on the, you know, um, from Funko Shop later on down the road after they say we can't sell all of them or on Macari because, you know, in a couple of months, all this shit is going to be worthless. It'll all be like 15 bucks or at cost. They could have put something in there really cool to really make us go after it. And that and that, my dears, is why the summer bundle of fun days fun box thing of fun. box of fun is so successful and sells out so quickly yeah because they have different limits on each thing right and it's and it is cheaper two hundred dollars is a lot of money i it mean is. so some people here it might not be a lot of money two hundred dollars hey i spend two hundred dollars every day I, I buy bullshit but for average average chris's and heathers we two hundred dollars a lot of money mm-hmm. and to go out and buy this bundle you know, that's that's one extra Christmas gift I could have gotten Heather. Heather's now out of a Christmas gift because of this shit. How do you like that? Don't you feel for her? Because I know I don't. Actually, I spent a lot on you this year. I spent a lot on you. I finally got her that real doll she's been wanting. Aww. I know. It's really cool. Um, But, but 200 bucks is a, is a pretty heavy thing. I think if they would have done boxes that were $50 and you got random pieces in it or something... With a blind thing. But, just some some different but, format. They but, have to learn that they're not but, selling the shit anymore. But this is the 12 days of Christmas. They do they have done that. Done what? 12 days of Christmas. Yes. They did they it last ha- year. But did it sell out? No. I'm not saying, oh, it sold out. I'm saying I, I like the 12 days of Christmas thing. I just agree with you. On maybe making one or two pieces sort of a mystery. Still the same sort of theme, but limiting a certain type of one. Um, Careless Corley, Corley, Careless Corey, completely Corey, Corey collecting, collect, what what are the names that we came up with? He has a thousand names. Yeah. Cop, Coxman Corey, which I thought was one of my favorites. You know what a Coxman is, right? No. Very good with the ladies, huh? That's one of his YouTube channels. He said that he didn't buy anything for you either, so I shouldn't feel so bad. So I feel okay. I feel okay now. Um, But he's given me unconditional love. Think about this, though. I know he is. He loves you. $200 box, okay? 15,000. Do the math on this. 15,000 boxes, say, times 200. What is Funko making in one day if they sell them all? Uh, Three million. Is that, is three million? Yes. Okay. And that's not even with tax tags and everything out the door. Well, actually it would be, wouldn't it? Or who knows? Anyway, three million. If they could just put things in there that we want and make three million dollars in one fucking day, they should put limited things in there because that's what's going to make us buy it. Completely. uh, Corey says he is a coxman. See, I was spot on. I knew it. I knew it. I could tell by watching his videos. If you guys aren't watching completely Corey, you are completely out of your out of your mind. Oh, seriously. He is like He's the hilarious. funniest. He's hilarious. But if we made like a couple of these guys a limited one, everybody right now everybody in the chat would be like, Oh my god, I got the bundle. I can't wait to see what I'm getting. I got I'm getting one of the limited ones. Blah 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 and they would be going crazy. Am I gonna get that thousand? The one K piece. I want oh, that one K piece. But none of that happened. And they 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 sunk yet again. And they, they're stuck with all these boxes on there. Yeah, I just don't... I don't understand what what they're thinking. I don't know. And I, w- Funko has been putting out a lot of stuff lately that nobody seems to care for. And I only know this. I'm not saying I know everybody. 
I'm not saying that I know everybody. Yeah, because there, someone will always but like something on, that they put out. But on, but on, button, button, but on Facebook, on all these different groups and all these different pages, people are saying, pass, pass, ha ha ha, my wallet's safe today. All this is happening. But when Toucan Sam happened and it was a limited piece, everybody's losing their goddamn minds. Not only was it a limited piece, but it was a cool limited piece. It was, yes. It's a great looking pop. I've said this time and time again. If they limited Snoke to 1K, that would be a grail piece right now for I everybody. I would not buy that stupid If it were 1K, pop. it would be. That's just the way not that it goes. Me, and everybody been like, but see, Star Wars Episode Eight was really good, though. And that Snoke pop is really neat. I like him. That didn't happen. Um, so Justin has a good point, and I agree 100% with this. Is it going to go against everything I said? No. Okay, go ahead. I couldn't afford $200. That's why I prefer they just do 12 days with one pop a day so I can choose which pops I want to try for. Brilliant. Justin, is that Justin Hot? Mm-hmm. I didn't even read the screen because Justin Hart is a good man. Did you know he that? He knows what he's talking about. Brian <laughs> he, Spears, he knows what he knows. Brian Spears said oversaturation is killing Funko collecting. Just my piece. You know, Brian Spears is here. Um, I ran into him at NYCC. Do you Did know? You? Yeah. Brian Spears is awesome. He has every single Freddy, I, I think, except for just a couple. He, he, every single Freddy Funko, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. This man is a legend. It's crazy. He's a legend. I think he shared his collection with me at some point. Did he? I think so. I I want to say he did. He he's uh, he's a man on a mission. I've seen him tracking these things down, and he does a good job at it too. Maybe they. Mm. Let me burp. Hold on. Oh, okay. I almost threw up for a second. Maybe they should have lowered the numbers on each one and made them limited. Gene R, you're speaking my language, buddy. You're speaking my tongue. You're you're speaking in. Chris Tongues right now. That sounds weird. I shouldn't have said that. Then sold half of them for $100 each and it be a chance chance box on what you get. Yeah. I uh Oh no. What? So I looked Brian up and he messaged me when we did our unboxing and he said great unboxings. Sorry you didn't get Chucky. And I completely missed it. Oh my god. Sorry, Brian Spears. I, I apologize for Heather's I apolog- negligence. Yeah, I, I feel so bad about that. I was trying to find if if you showed me your collection. Interesting point. Michael Petrino, by the way, Man Myth the Legend. He points out, Chris, what's your thoughts on the Icy Bear sticker being different? That's a good question. I, I you know, skimming over all these, I kind of noticed that. I don't know why that is. My only guesstimation would be that this was going to be a drop that was going to be a random Wednesday, Friday, whatever drop, and they decided to include it in the bundle instead because they probably needed a 12th item to hit the price point of $200 hairs. That's my guess. I'm not saying I'm a, a pro, but I'm just I'm just using common logic, and I'm, I'm usually not good at that. Yes. He so don't did, listen to me. He did show me his Freddy wall. It is incredible. Um, Brian says, all good. Thanks for the wedding books, Heather. Oh, yeah. I shipped, um, Kelly some wedding books. Oh, okay. Yeah, that I was selling. Oh, very good. Um, I want Wolfpack, <clears throat> Fury, and Doughboy they're from so this. Sweet. Moving, huh? I said they're so sweet. Oh, they are. They're very good people. I, in fact, he was with, he was with her, uh, at the. At I the would show. imagine so. Yeah, they, I mean, they were together. Well, people get split up there a lot. NYCC is ridiculous. Have you been? No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get lost. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that to you. I'm not getting you a gift, and I just and I just uh, did a really dickhead thing. Uh, moving uh, other ten in oversaturated market would be impossible. So I just will wait for, to trade for them. Nick, money, you're on point like pencils. You like that? On point like pencils. You're going to be able to find them on Macari for nothing. I can guarantee you that. Or oh, you can yeah. trade within groups or you can go on eBay. Um, I, you're going to have all your chances to get all, whatever you want here. I'm pretty sure not everybody's going to want this stuff other than all the people fiending and wanting all the ad icons, of course. And we have, what, two ad icons in this box? Am I right about that? Yeah, two. No, three. Because Frankenberry, the big Frankenberry. Tasha. <clears throat> Tasha, hello, our, our walking dead buddy. 
What do we think about the new supply drop, Heather? I want you to speak on this because you're the one that spends all of your hard-earned money. I am so excited. So, they sucked us Funko Pop collectors in. The Walking Whoa, Dead. I didn't know where that was going, but go ahead. The Walking Dead supply drop with um, the, the very first box they ever released. It was a mystery Funko Pop. And there were, like, no hints about it anywhere online until people got the box. So it wasn't, like, Funko posting all this stuff. Right. Or, well, you you know what I mean. Um, Like, we weren't spoiled like we were with this 12 Days of Christmas box. And we got the Shiva out of that. Well, when you sign up for a subscription box, you have a subscription. Right. And we continued to get it. And there was some cool stuff. Like, the shirts are really cool. There was a Daryl Dixon hoodie with, like, his wings on the Okay, back. let's be honest. Most of the shit in most, there is garbage. Most of the Absolute stuff. Absolute garbage. Most of the stuff was complete Like, piece shit. of cardboard, like, just garbage shit that nobody wants. It's like the stuff that you get, like, stocking stuffer things that you know nobody likes, but you just buy it did anywhere you, to, to shove me, it in a did, stocking. Did you tell me to answer this question, or are you going to take it? Because it sounds like you have a lot to Oh, no, say. I had something to say about it. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I did derail that. Go ahead. Okay. So... Are you going to be done, like, anytime soon, though? That's kind of the real question here. Okay. I really have enjoyed some of the items, but most of them I've just absolutely hated. I am so excited that Supply Drop is finally putting a supply drop exclusive Funko Pop in every single box from here on out. Uh-huh, yes. And if you guys have not seen it yet, the latest box is getting an unmasked alpha. Who called that shit? Who called and that? That was me. Her mouth looks like a butthole. It does, but that's okay. But it's it's okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with her weird butthole I mouth. I said that they were going to drop this and it was going to be an exclusive and son of a B, I was on. I was on point. Like pentails. Uh, I want to say Baby Yoda. Do, 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 do is awesome. Um, the comment, for 200 bucks, that box needed to come with a coupon to Chipotle and two free movie tickets. <laughs> 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 I totally 100% agree with that. That is great. Awesome comment. Uh, I'm excited for Unmasked Alpha, but I feel like I'm paying $50 for the pop. Mike C., you're absolutely right. You are Maybe. paying for the pop. Maybe. Because... Because they don't always have shitty items. They don't always. They have I, t-shirts and which hat, are good. Winter hats. They have really cool t-shirts. Winter they hats. The one with uh, King Ezekiel on it, I wear all the time. It was like a gray, almost like an acid wash sort of shirt. And it says, and yet I smile and it has King Ezekiel on it. I love that shirt. I absolutely love that shirt. I love my Whisperer shirt. I love my Daryl Dixon hoodie. You got good stuff. I love all the clothing items I've Have you ever worn a Daryl Dixon hoodie? Yes. You have? Yeah. Good. But but the problem with it is it's a pullover and I prefer the zip up. I'm not a pullover guy either. Me neither. But I love the hoodie so much that I do wear it. It's a nice hoodie. It has a good, nice design on it. Yeah. Um, photo a day thoughts, click my vid says. Well, I have thoughts on that. Good thoughts? My thoughts are, hell yeah! I'm really excited about it. This is finally, we're getting our Christmas photo a day challenge. I didn't know when it was going to happen. I didn't know if it was going to happen. I had a feeling that it definitely would happen. Do we have stockings here? We do. Okay, good. Because Saturday is stocking stuffers. So, let me see if I can pull this up. Can you message that to me because that's the better way for me to get it hold on ladies and gentlemen i know i we've, we've halted uh pushed on the brakes here for a second let me see if i can grab that picture i am so excited is did you send it to me everyone else going to do the funko photo a day challenge oh heather i could have done that. i, I definitely have it. am i had it like that i should have just sent it from my phone you probably should have. I don't understand what you're doing. All right, let's take a look. There what do you, you got? Go. Okay. All right, give me one moment. And I'm going to change that picture. Okay. And then we're going to talk about that. Because I'm more excited about this than obviously the bundle. But I'm really excited about this. 
photo a day challenge. Now, as you know, Heather and I are really big in the, uh, the, the photo a day challenge. I'll give you the main reason why I'm excited about the photo a day challenge or why I love it so much. When Heather, <clears throat> one night, she says, holy shit, Funko is doing this photo a day thing. This has been a couple years ago. And it's I was been like, like three or four years. I was like, photo a day? She's like, yeah, you got to take pictures of your Funko Pops and you get, you'll you be featured by Funko. It's a whole thing. I was like, oh, that's cool. So I took like one of my Pops like in a box like this one and I took a picture of it. And then I noticed Heather was pulling her Funko Pops out of the box. Now, at this point in time, Chris was I would out. not unbox our Funko Pops. And now we unbox everything at least one time. That's that's kind of a uh, norm, norm, normality here at the castle. It got me to pull my Pops out of the box and take photos of them and actually give a little bit of my creativity. I started learning how to use um, editing apps on my phone. It was just really cool. And... And now every time this comes out, I get really excited because I know what I usually do. I take a picture the day before so I could post it the next morning. So every day I'm like every morning I wake up, I'm prepared for the photo a day challenge. But I just love it. It's so much fun. They give you, you know, obviously like interesting topics. Um, the one I'm most excited about and I'll show you. Hold on. Uh, I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh, you got a pop. Most people are probably going to already do this, but I'm really excited to use this Groot, which is from the newest Marvel Collector Core box. We made a video about it. It's hilarious. You should go and watch it after this, but st hang in here. Hang in here with us for a little bit. I want to take a picture with him with lights, multicolored lights. I think that would be really cool. What do you think? It would be. So I'm going to have like lights kind of surrounding him and like on top of him and just like kind of random in front of our lit Christmas tree and him just sitting there. I think it'll be really cool. Christmas tree would be a cool backdrop. I already know. No, I know what I'm doing for the shoe fee. Okay. Shoe fee. I have no shoe fee is one that always gets me yeah. because I'm not a, I'm not a collector of shoes. I have, I do have a lot of shoes, but I'm not crazy about them. So I just pick one that matches a yeah, Funko Pop that I have. I do. And I do every time I've done a Venom Pop. It's been a version of Venom. Interesting. Every time. Yeah. Actually, last time was Spider-Man. So it's a Spider-Man universe. Um, but they have Magic, which is Harry Potter. You could do a Harry Potter character. Maybe. Stocking Stuffers on December 7th. Then we have Lights, Something Blue. I have a Harry Potter ornament. It's a Funko ornament. Boom. There you go. Look at this. Oh my God. That's so easy. Make a list, which last year I did Thanos. Yes. And it was him making his list of things he's going to do. And the last one I think was Snap. Uh, treats, which is always fun. You could throw a little food in there. Funko Fashion Friday, which I'm really excited about because we have a lot. Of, now we have a lot of shirts. We do, but the problem is... I'm I, wearing one right now. Yeah. I like to make them... Christmas themed so like am I gonna wear a Santa hat am I gonna string lights all over myself don't get hurt stay tuned on my Instagram to find out naughty and nice oh, which shit. is you in a nutshell you're both should I do like a me pop then? a you pop decorations shoot uh shelfie 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 is my least favorite yeah it's I, it's, it's really hard to capture but... something cool on a shelf I don't know. We got some a really cool display up there that I put together. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. No, what do you mean? I, I'm trying to make them feel excited about it. Oh, they don't well, see yeah, it. I do. Excited. It's great. Something red, something green, movies, and Funko Family Game Night is the last mm. one. That one's also another one that's meh. It's okay. Damn it. Why do they have to do that? I don't know. We got the cereal, guys. We do. We got a cereal game. I already took a picture of that last time. So? But you can do it. You can do it this time. I can. We can put Santa hats on them. Boom! There you go. I got. Oh. Mm. The barn door. No, um, that's the saloon. Oh, that's door. the saloon door. I'm sorry. And the barn door was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I got it. <laughs> so I'm excited to get started on this. Now this happened starting on Thursday, right? Or no, Friday. Friday? Yeah, Friday. Because today is the fourth. I don't know what day it is. Yeah. So I'll be excited. Is the fifth. I'll be excited Friday to put something together that is going to be magical. What can I use as magical? 
You Come on, throw some like ideas at me. What's what's magical? I don't want to do Harry Potter. Me. What? Oh, okay. If you want to get sexy and weird on the camera, it's fine. No, I'm I'm getting magical. Oh. Okay. Um, I was thinking maybe Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. I have a really Some cool picture I did a long time ago. Do you remember? It was the Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider Funko Pop. Do you remember that picture? Do you remember that? If I saw it, I would know it. I took a really cool picture. It almost looks like a seance or something. Michael Petrino, I was thinking the same thing. He said they want people to go buy Funkoverse before the last photo. Um, you know what? That's funny you should say that because I thought that was going to be the winning picture last time and it wasn't. It oh, was not a Funkoverse. Funkoverse game? It was not. Funkoverse did not win. But, I mean, that I, I really think he's onto something with that because they didn't start doing the game night, I don't think, until Funkoverse was released. True. What's really funny is that I posted about Funkoverse and the people who created Funkoverse commented on what I posted. Yes. It was weird because I, I thought Funko was behind it. They have some company that apparently did all that. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Funko is not out making makeup. I'm sure that they have like right. A yeah, I know, but I, I don't know. I figured the they could come up know? with their own game, or they would have no, in house people Funko making a make, game. Makes toys and shit. Toys and shit. A, a, to- a game is a toy. Sometimes. No, it's a game. They're completely different things. You can't just make like bobbleheads and expect someone to be able to make a game that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that can do both, but. I can't. I can't do either. I can't make toys or make games. What does that make me, Heather? Nick Money said Gamer Pops. I have actually, I want to say... That's what you did, I think. Yeah, I think the last one I did, like, a PlayStation 4 something or other. I think Was I, it PlayStation I think 4? I did, um... What's your name? Ikora Ray. The one that's, like, iridescent. From Destiny. Mm-hmm. Which is our very favorite game on the planet. Yes. I can't find this picture. I was really hoping I would find it. Um, Justin, I am so excited for the Patronus pop slash pop. You didn't want it. You said you're going to wait. Uh, because it's Christmas time and I don't have the extra cash to be blowing on Funko pops. Oh my God. Heather, it's not that much. I already ordered you one anyway. Oh, did you? Nope. (laughs) Okay. Did I get your hoops up? Yeah. Um, I am really excited. I'm excited. They they released Harry's Patronus today. Okay. And they, they announced Ron and Hermione's coming. Ron's is a Jack Russell, and Hermione's is an Otter. What? That's their Patronuses. Really? Mm-hmm. So you think they're going to release that? They posted that they're releasing that. So that's for sure. That's a real deal. It's yeah. Happening. Okay. Well, that's cool. I don't know how I feel about that. You said a ferret? An otter. An otter. I'm excited to see what they do with an otter. I would imagine he would be laying on his back because you often see them pictured like floating in water. Found it. There's the magic picture I should use. Look at him. Let's see. Can you see it? See him? Isn't that cool? That's so cool. Tell me it's cool. Come on. Hurry. Any cool? Um... I was thinking about using that for my picture, but I I want to do something new. I'm not going to I'm not going to use old shit. I'm going to use new shit. Should I call it shit? No. I'm going to use new stuff, not old stuff. There you go. One last thing that I want to show and it's not right here. I have to go upstairs. So what I want you to do, Heather, mm-hmm. I want you to start telling a story and by the time I get down here, I want it to be over. What story? Just tell them a story. What story? Tell them a funny story. What story? Just keep them busy while I'm gone, okay? Oh, no. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this, guys. Um, well, oh, here's a funny one. So Chris said on our live, I think on Sunday, that he needed the Cyber Monday bundle. Then Cyber Monday rolls around and he said, I don't think I'm ordering it. And then like an hour later, he said, I ordered it. Done. Funny story, Heather. I heard that all the way upstairs. Yeah, because I'm loud. Right around the time of our Thanksgiving show that we did, and hopefully you guys had a good time for that, I asked uh, all of you guys, our friends here, oh, whoops, our friends here at the Gasselcast, to look out for the 
Thanos backpack, the big head of Thanos. Well, one of our good pals, who is not here actually, he usually is, Jake Carr, the guy who who actually put the Gasol Cast logos on our table, the guy that makes all the stickers you guys have been getting. What else has he done? He's done a ton of things. Everything. He's just a really good guy. He's hunted, found things for us. We found things for him. Great guy. He got me the goddamn backpack, and I'm amped. I haven't even showed Heather this yet. She's just seen it, like the front of it, but there's more to it than just the face of Thanos. Oh, I already looked. So here is Thanos. It's a really neat backpack. Now, as you can tell, it's not huge. It's not a huge backpack. This is a backpack that I probably would use if I did go to a con, though. I could carry some stuff in here. It's yeah, pretty it big. it sort of has, like, that hard shell on it. It's got it. a hard shell on it. I have a um, a backpack that's similar to this with a Stormtrooper storm right? mask or face or helmet. What's really cool is that they put these little zippers that actually say Funko, which I thought was a really neat touch. But what really blew my mind wasn't that. What blew my mind is what comes inside. I didn't realize it came with anything. It comes with this box. Not box, but it's like a padded thing. It says pop on it. And when you open it... Oh, is it a Grail Funko Pop? Oh. It no. has slots for three Funko Pops so you can carry your Funko Pops around. That is really Will cool. I ever use this? Probably not. However, I thought about I it today. I might use it if I take something that I trade. I, sometimes I trade at cons, believe it or not. I know you probably don't hear that that often. I've done it several times. Um, or I'll take a pop that I want to get signed, and I'll put it down in here. The problem is, is that this takes up a lot of space inside this bag. Right? So you, op yeah. you open the bag up, and you put it down the middle, and it's taking up pretty much the whole bag. It's well, like it's like a lunch bag. It's like a lunch sack or something. Uh, I don't like saying sack. A lunch bag. I don't like saying sack. That's a weird I word. Do. What? Mm -hmm. But it's a nice big backpack. It has like a, a spot in here where you can put like a laptop. It's nice for 30 bucks. 50 bucks I wouldn't have spent. 30 bucks? Good. And it has my man on there. My man's is on there. Can you imagine me walking around one of the cons with this on my back? Yes, I could. Oh, my God. Proudest wife ever. Really? Mm -hmm. You'd be proud of me for wearing this? I'd wear it. I'd fight you to wear it. Oh, my God. You're making me so excited, Heather. Mm. Stay seated. No one else needs to see that. They won't see anything anyway. Um, so, <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, that's it. We, we've talked about several things tonight. We talked about the uh, Funko Bundle, which was... Okay, there are a couple items that we like, a couple items we're not into. We've gotten rid of all the items that we're not into, so I consider that a win. So we get to keep what we want and get, get rid of what we don't want. And the ones that we don't want are treasures for the other people. I'm trying to make this sound good. Help me try to it make this sound good. It is good. Good, thank you. We help our friends. We help together, yes! Um... Yes, they do need to make a Batman backpack. I'm surprised they didn't do that. I'm surprised they went Thanos Before and Batman. not and not Batman. Yeah, Bat they always do Batman first. By the way, did you see that they did like a Funko event last night and gave away a ton of protos? No. They gave away yeah, Funko Hollywood. They gave away oh, okay. the 18 inch Batman proto. Holy It's crap. ridiculous. Yeah. I could I just could not believe that somebody got that. Imagine what that what price tag on that thing is. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know what it is, but imagine what it could be. Um, they gave a lot, away a Probably lot of stuff. Probably close to the Big Freddy's that were the Toys R Us displays, I would imagine. <laughs> Zach Bonifer. Chris has a big head in his hand. Talk about the Thanos backpack. But he put a, put a bunch, of, uh, bunch of hogs on there. Those are eggplants. I know, but yes. I call them hogs. Um, we talked about the Funko Bundle, which is just okay. We talked about... Funko photo a day. Heather's which is blue great. hair, which she never had. Yes, I did. Funko uh, photo a day. If you are on the challenge this year and you're taking your photos, tag us. I would love to see all your pictures. Um, what else? Oh, and the Thanos backpack. We talked about a lot of things. We had a lot of fun. We yeah, Justin Hot, you son of a bitch. You keep saying things that I just love. Keep saying it. Keep preaching. 
He we said, do need. We need a HQ we need on HQ. the Eastern U.S. so we, we do. can attend events like that. That's Justin Hart. We can attend events like that, but I'm not going all the way to California for the opening of a store. As cool as that would be, that's a big price tag for that flight. Well, I'm glad you guys got to see who the party pooper is of the. I'm not being couple. a party pooper. Oh my god, a party pooper like that's I've never a lot seen of before. Damn money. You are shitting everywhere. I am not. There's a party, and you're just taking a big shit everywhere. Okay. You're dragging that shit all throughout that party. Anyway. Heather pooped in the fish tank. The aquarium. Um, yes. Click my vid. We bundle together. That sounds like a win. I like that. Remember, as always, guys, uh, we hunt. We are together, yes. We'll be back. We'll be back on Sunday to hang out with you yet again. You'll be able to see our faces and talk to us. And we'll be able to bullshit with each other and curse. Now we curse. We're the Gasol Cast, and we talk about Funko Pops, and we say shit. Um, right? What else do we say? What other words? Come on. Ass, like my grandma once said. That's what you should say. <laughs> we posted a new video that was released yesterday, and it was fantastic. It was really funny. I've been getting a lot of good um, uh, feedback from it. You should go and check it out. It's about that new Marvel Collector Core uh, box. But guess what? You might have seen other unboxings. Uh, unboxings but you haven't seen ours ours is the shit it's way better than all those other unboxings that are out there we're at least really funny Exa actually you know you're really funny lately i'm always funny. you're like a little comedian little miss comedian i like that i like that in my women women she's hot she's funny and she knows how to handle my head my thanos head yeah i would wear that on my back through the cons Okay, I'm picturing something else, but that's weird. Um, back on Sunday, tomorrow will be a new video. It's all about Star Wars Bounty Hunters, baby. If you like Star Wars, you love Bounty Hunters, you love Mandalorian, watch that video. It'll be posted tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern. You're not going to want to miss that. Check it out. Make sure you leave a like, a comment. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Am I hitting everything? Yep. Okay. All right. I think that's it. Here's a me merp uh, because Mark isn't here. Heather, go ahead and dim the lights. We're out of here. We will catch you next time. Bye.